All right. Welcome, everyone. We are so excited today. Uh, I'm Denise Raleigh. I co-chair the Elgin Complete Count Committee. Uh, we're trying to get everyone counted in the 2020 census. And I'm here today. We're going to uh, do this wonderful announcement for, for the census art campaign, which we are so blown away by the entries we received. Um, I'm joined by uh, Elisa Lara, and she Hello. is the outreach nurse from VNA. And wonderful, thank you, Elisa, for coming. Thank and Carla you. Jimenez, who is you know key to all of our census work, and she's the coordinator of family and community engagement for U46. <laughs> and our genial hosts, who are walking us through all of our social media wonderment, is Natalie Keyburn from the library as well. And without further ado, Carla is going to lead us into the next segment. So I just, thank you, Denise. I just want to say thank you to everyone who submitted a piece of artwork. It was so powerful. You know, what are youth had to say nowadays of the importance of the census 2020. And so all these entries were great. We're going to go ahead and show you some of that artwork. And once again, thank you so much and congratulations to everyone. Gracias a todos los que nos han entregado un arte. Uh, fue, fueron, este, recibimos una gran respuesta y que no hay nada más, más importante que lo que nuestra juventud nos dice hoy sobre la importancia de participar en el Censo 2020. Gracias de nuevo a todos y felicidades a todos por haber sido parte de este, esta exhibición. So now we'll go to the slideshow. Ahora vemos las piezas que nos entregaron. Un poquito aquí les damos. Todos contamos. We all count in el Censo 2020. Esta juventud de veras que nos dijo varias razones el por qué tenemos que ser contados. The youth really expressed themselves why it is that we need to be counted. What wonderful skills they have. Qué habilidad de dibujar tan bonito. Recuerden que el Censo 2020 ayuda a nuestra comunidad, a todos. The Census 2020 helps our entire community. All count. Todos contamos. El distrito incluye once comunidades Todas las comunidades participaron en esta exhibición. The District U46 is part of 11 communities, and we were so happy to see all communities being representative. Census has an impact in our schools, in our community, in our healthcare services, our roads, jobs, and these students really captured that. El censo impacta los trabajos, nuestra comunidad, las calles que necesitamos, el cuidado de salud, las escuelas, 
Y nos dio mucho gusto que los estudiantes entienden esto y lo pudieron expresar en su, dibujo, en su arte. I think that is a round of applause. Muy bonitos que hicieron. Really nice job. Yeah, that was wonderful. When you think of how many reasons those kids showed in, through their artwork of why the census count is important, and especially in these days right now where medical assistance, grants that are coming through the federal government based on the census, how they're coming in and making an impact on our community. So thank you students. What an awesome job we had from our area kids uh, throughout Elgin and beyond. Um, we, we just got this a is a wonderful. Denise, we just got a comment on that slideshow that the students have been so creative with their census art and show that they understand how important the census is, which is awesome. And, and, and especially when it's this day that we have the honor to have Elisa Laura, who's on the front lines every day, making a difference during this pandemic time. So thank you for taking a brief moment out to be part of the census. When you, and, and Elisa has been part of our census effort, and we thank you so much for working on the census. We thank you for what you're doing day to day right now to save lives and, and to comfort families. Um, and it's well worth noting that today is the Emergency Medical Services for Children Day. And this is so special that you will be announcing our winners. Yes, it's exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure it, that's a huge challenge to kind of, we'd love to get everybody recognized and pick them all winners because they are very talented. You know, they make my figures of sick people look really bad. <laughs> so I'm not a good artist. <laughs> I'll stick to the health side. But congratulations to them all because they actually did a wonderful job, very creative, and the passion and the work that they did for it was amazing. It looks wonderful. But um, since we do have that honor of actually um, – Honoring the winners, we have the winners to choose. So let's see who the lucky winners are. And the uh, first one. Drum roll. <laughs> Abby from South Elgin High School. Yay. Let's see here. And next is Najim Su. He's nine years old. Oh. Nice job. Yay. Yeah. And then Stephanie Vilches. She's our third one. Awesome. And Ivan Soto from Ellis Middle School, seventh grader. Yay. And Christopher Neal from Hilltop Elementary. He's a fourth grader. Oh, yay. Yeah. And we have our last one, our last winner. Let's see here. Regan Schwartz from Tuft Middle School. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Yay. We should also add, you know, the uh, it's the census grant that will be paying for some of these prizes, but we would also like to recognize Grand Victoria Foundation and Hanover Park for uh, submitting some additional dollars so that we could go from three prizes to six. So thank you very much for those organizations for coming through. Uh, again, what a pleasure. Um, Gracias a los ganadores. Pudimos nosotros este, de tres tarjetas de regalo. Vamos a dar seis. Gracias a la Fundación de Grand Victoria, al, este, a Hanover Park, por donar más tarjetas y gracias a Elisa por re reconocer a estos ganadores hoy el día de servicios médicos de emergencia para niños. Gracias. And, and we're really excited that, of course, we're going to be issuing some gift certificates, but we're also going to be showing these pieces of art in a art show format. Uh, can you tell a little bit more about that, Carla? 
Yes, so we uh, have it actually a digital exhibit and you'll be able to walk through vir virtually to see each piece that was submitted. And so we'll have that soon posted. Uh, van a poder ver todo el, el arte que se entregó. Lo van a poder ver así como si lo estuvieran vi viendo en persona, pero virtualmente van a poder ver cada pieza. Yeah, and for those folks who might have missed the deadline but all, or submitted something late, I know we got a few of those, or maybe had some spelling errors when we were doing the entry picks, um, we'll, so we'll also host those as well. So everyone can just get to see the wonderful art that we had out there that was presented. Todos van a tener la oportunidad de ver todo lo que se entregó. Si todavía quieren entregar algo, no es muy tarde, uh, se van a incluir más piezas. Yeah, and one thing we want to make sure when we're talking about the census, we're at 67 percent, uh, a little over 67 percent in Elgin, but we also want to talk about some jobs that are still available in this area. Yeah, so todavía este, estamos al 67 por, por ciento de, de respuestas, pero también queremos mencionarles que hay trabajos disponibles para el censo. The census is still hiring. El census todavía está contratando a gente. We'd also like to point you to the Elgin Chamber website because there are some jobs that are listed there for people in our community. Y también hay, tra hay trabajos que tienen disponibles, está están publicados por medio del, um, del Chamber Office. And, and we'd also like to reaffirm that the census is still taking place. Like for anyone who thinks it's over, it's not. It's going, it's, we're running through October. Y para aquellos ustedes que piensen que ya se terminó el censo, no se ha terminado. Ese continúa y va a continuar hasta uh, el mes de octubre. It's still, there's no citizenship question on the census. It is still simple, safe, and significant. It makes a huge difference for helping our community. Y recuerden que es fácil de completar el censo. Es este, como dijo Denise, es fácil, seguro y significante. Es muy importante para nuestra comunidad. There's different ways to fill out the census, but one of the easiest ways right now is by calling a phone number. Hay varias formas de completar el censo, pero la más fácil ahorita es llamando al número de teléfono. In Spanish, it is 844-468-2020. En español es 844-468-2020. In English, it is 844-330-2020. En Inglés es 844-330-2020. Again, you can still fill out a printed form. You can still go online at mycensus.gov. I'd also mention that all the up-to-date information for all 13 languages are at gailborden.info slash census. También pueden este, completar el censo eh, con el cuestionario impreso o también pueden visitarlo en línea uh, y para eso pueden visitar 2020census.gov o también pueden visitar la página de la biblioteca a gilborden.info diagonal census. So we really want to thank, especially Alisa Laura for being here, for being our special guest on this special day to announce the winners of this fabulous art. I want to thank uh, Carla Jimenez, of course, I need to thank her every day, uh, and Natalie for hosting this event, but also we have a vibrant, vibrant census committee that are working daily. We know we're working in a virtual atmosphere for the most part right now, but please, everybody's working to get the message out. You can see by the impact of this art contest how many people are being successful and, and, and getting this message out there. So thank you committee members. Most of all, thank you students and, and young people in our community. We couldn't be, we're, you know, we're bowled over with what came in. And uh, uh, thank you so much for, for, for creating this fabulous art, but also thank you for caring enough to do it. I mean, this message is so important, especially in this time. And so we want to really thank the students in our community. 
Muchas, muchas gracias a todos. Muchas gracias a Elisa, a todos los que estamos formando parte de esta plática aquí hoy en día. Uh, es, una gran, es muy importante esto del censo. Muchos los del comité que han estado trabajando, especialmente hoy en día que lo tienen que hacer todo virtualmente. Es muy importante la, la dedicación que tienen ellos. Uh, pero un agradecimiento muy profundo a nuestros estudiantes Uh, todo el trabajo y, y cómo entienden la importancia del censo y más ahorita en lo que estamos enfrentando hoy en día que es muy importante la participación. Thank you and please look we are going to be sending this art show everywhere please take a look at this wonderful art uh, thank you so much for joining us today. No se les olvide ver el arte y gracias por acompañarnos hoy. And we've already got some of it uploaded on uh, Flickr. So we'll be adding more to it too. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye.